without saying that I've been feeling highly vindicated ever since uh, all this corona stuff. Not just because the world is ending or whatever, um, but some decisions that I've made in my life that some of you may be aware of, uh, I have now become ex extremely happy with. I made a bunch of very radical choices. Maybe that's a weird, maybe that's a, a little bit too masturbatory to say, but a lot of uh, choices that made big differences. And I'm glad that they have paid off now. And uh, I mean, it's not just it's not just about coronavirus or something like that. Um, but uh, l let me explain. Now, first off, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you the punchline up front because you know I know most of you, in YouTube videos you're supposed to have people watching for the longest time. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and tell you what I'm going to tell you. And that is, a couple years ago, I decided to live by a heuristic, a, a rule of thumb. And that is, whenever I have any kind of life decision. Or, I mean, it could be a minor thing, like on my channel, you know, use, uh, picking what software to use or something like that. Or it could be a major thing about, you know, where I'm going to live, uh, you know, who I'm going to date, how I'm going to, you know, co comport myself in general. And the heuristic that I, I, I guess the rule of thumb that I now live by is that if something, if I have a decision and one of the choices will make me more independent and the other will make me more dependent... I will always choose the one that makes me more independent, okay? Now, a couple of years ago when I had, the, when this sort of came to my he head, maybe it was inspiration or something like that, or maybe I just read it somewhere and, you know, don't remember where I read it, but um, when I started practicing this, I was in a much different place. I wasn't out here, and I'm glad, uh, you know, I couldn't just go over here and get a bunch of loquats for my loquat tree or something like that. Um, I was in my PhD program, uh, a bunch of bad, terrible things were happening. That was a terrible place in Arizona. And, um, you know, just I realized that despite the fact that I was in some sense achieving in the worldly sense, you know, I was uh, getting this advanced degree. I was hobnobbing with a bunch of people who were, you know, famous enough to have Wikipedia pages and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, you, f you feel like you're in a, a big place or, or around people who actually matter. Um, but the fact of the matter is I felt every month... You know, every passing moment, I was less free in what I could do. Um, that wasn't just in terms of, oh, I have to live in this particular place. Um, like in the city, I don't really have control over, uh, you know, where I get my food. And I, I'm always rushed for time and stuff like, like that. But it's also, you know, especially nowadays in universities, um, uh, the environment, I, I guess the most charitable way you could describe it is highly stifling, okay? You just don't want to be around there. Like, it's just not a good place. And, um, you know, I could definitely feel that increasing. I mean, this was especially the case when I started my PhD program. I guess that was when, uh, you know, the 2016 election was, you know, about that period. So, you know, people in universities were always witch hunting, you know what I mean? Um, so that was a really miserable environment to be in no matter what. I mean, even if you're sort of one of them, you know what I mean? Even those people had a miserable time. And, uh, you know, you just realize how little, like how arbitrary the things in your life can catch up with you. And so I had this decision, you know, basically, do I want to con continue in this uh, a way of living or do I want to abandon it? And of course, abandoning it comes with a bunch of, uh, a bunch of negative things. You know, you, uh, you lose what you've been working for. Um, you lose what it, you, you've been told that is, uh, you know, always the goal. Oh yeah, you want to get educated, educated, get a wage cuck job or, you know, some kind of you know, high-end job, something like that. You got to make uh, six figures out right off the bat and stuff like this. Um, and where, on the other hand, my other choices were basically, oh, I'll just go into the woods or something like that. But I will tell you, that was definitely the best decision I've ever made. Uh, it wasn't a decision that happened immediately, but when I had that opportunity, when I adopted that heuristic, that rule of thumb, um, you know, if I had a decision, do I want to stay around here for another year or do I want to move? Well, okay, I'm going to move. I'm going to be where I want, even if that means me less, me being less connected uh, with my department or whatever. Uh, or, you know, you know, what kind of things am I going to study? What am I going to do? I basically just made the decision, okay, I'm just going to do whatever makes me more independent. And, you know, one of the things we talk about on this channel is, you know, how technology, you know, how people become extremely reliant on the technology they use and that's why you know the best technology to use is always just no technology right for most of the things i was actually going to do a video on that but uh you know so every decision i started making when the, within the course of the year put me further and like made me more and more free now it came at a cost 
let's just say that, uh, you know, I'd be making more money if I were somewhere else. Maybe I would have gotten a big job. Maybe I would have finished my PhD already. Uh, a bunch of different maybes, but I'd be in a much less free place. Like I wouldn't, nearly certainly wouldn't have my own place to live or my own house. I'd probably be, well, I'd probably actually be paying way more to live in some stupid apartment, uh, you know, around people who were, again, just stifling and stuff like that. Um, so I definitely don't regret moving out here at all. I mean, it, again, it's like the best decision of my life. And the reality is, especially nowadays with the internet and stuff like that, you're really not less connected uh, from people. Uh, and that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Sometimes it's nice to be less connected uh, to people. Um, but, you know, so anyway, that's the heuristic I made. And the, the fact of the matter is it's always going to be good in the long term. Uh, I'm not saying that you should always be like, oh, I'm not going to take a job because it's going to make me less free. Uh, because there is a sense in which the money you might get, that might make you more free, right? Um, but I think the boomer generation definitely lived by this mindset of they're just always going to be company men. You know, they're always going to um, get more and more money and then they'll just rely, you know, they'll just hope that they don't lose their freedom in the meantime, which, you know, and they just took it to such an extent that, uh, it, I mean, they lost basically everything. They're the most mentally domesticated people in the whole world. Um, you know, nowadays you still have people like, you You know, you have Redditors who are upcoming based and basically make their decisions and constantly worry about uh, what other people think. Um, but for everyone else, for all the rest of us, right, um, you know, we have a lot of choices about what makes us freer and what makes us less free. Um, and the reality is it's not just a buzzword. Like, I'm not using freedom or independence as a buzzword. I'm saying um, when the world is falling apart, like, you know, now, I mean, I'm, I don't know if it's actually falling apart, but when... Uh, you know, society as a whole, which is highly interreliant, when there's some kind of mess in that system, well, out here it doesn't make a lick of difference to me. Okay, it literally doesn't. I mean, like I'm not, I'm not exactly a prepper, but when this whole, when stuff started shutting down, I realized, oh, like in, between my pantry and all this stuff, I have like months and months of food. If I needed to actually stay here for a while, uh, it actually be really easy. And that's just the natural environment living in a place where you're more independent, right? You think about things like, I mean, everything you do is a long-term investment. That was one of the best things when I moved out here. Um, I could start getting things, you know, I could, uh, you know, start getting woodworking tools. I have a place to put them. I can start like thinking about, oh, I'm, maybe I'm not even going to use this immediately, but uh, I can always invest in my house and all this other stuff. So now that you have your own place to live instead of, you know, living in an apartment or something like that, it's just fantastic. Um, it's great, and the people around here are totally different. Like, they're so much less domesticated than people in cities. You know, people in cities, they're always thinking about, um, they're always thinking about what each other think and stuff like that. It, it's just really uh, unhealthy, especially nowadays. You know, everyone's plugged into their social media and all this stuff. You know, out here, it's just sort of, you know, you know, put out or show up. You know, or wait, no, what's the expression? Put, put up or show up, shut up or whatever it is. You know what I mean. You know, it's like people evaluate each other more based on, what's real because the fact of the matter is you know this is a you know this is an uncle ted thing of course um the great thing about being independent is that you can always see what your work is doing you know you can go out and uh till a garden or something like that you can go out and like create something once you have that ability um you don't have to you don't have to think about the opinions of others because you see what you're doing right whereas if you live in a city and you're constantly plugged into the system even though there are a lot of things in the system that are much more efficient, right? Oh, it can get us food, you know, more economically efficiently and stuff like that. Um, one, there's the thing of everything being reliant on each other. So again, if something has to close down, everything falls apart. Um, and two, you know, it, it's really, I, I mean, it's hard, it's hard to explain. Like, you're, you don't really feel like you contribute uh, to the system. And you really don't. Like, you're not really necessary in the way that you are right here. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I say. So if I have recommendations for people, um, it would just be live by that heuristic. Now, I'm not telling you immediately to just move out into the woods or something like that. Your life conditions might be different. Um, uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not going to speak for other people, but I definitely recommend it. Basically, every life decision, if it makes you more independent, it's probably going to be good. Now, of course, that doesn't mean, uh, you know, I mean that in a limited sense. Let's say um, the example of getting married, right? So getting married, if you're getting married to a high-maintenance person, right? That's probably going to make you more dependent on them. You're going to have to like constantly think about them, stuff like that. But if you get into a good marriage, right? Sorry, they're a gnat, gnat season, one annoying thing. So that's why I'm like rubbing my face and stuff. Um, but if you get married to a decent person, right? That should be someone who makes you more independent, right? Because you can rely, rely on them to do things and otherwise. And that's the same thing with all your friendships. 
Like if you have friends who you think are a big liability, right? If it's a big pain to uh, keep up with them, watch their feelings or something like that. I mean, it's not just the feelings thing. Um, but that's one of the things, I mean, a, a recommendation I have for people in general is just have, especially younger people, just have less friends, okay? Here, this is an honest recommendation because a lot of people, um, and it has to do with your personal independence. Like I, I think when you're young, especially, you sort of want to be the alpha male, you know, you want to have all these friends and stuff like that. Um, but the reality is most of these, those people won't last a couple of years. You're not going to be talking to them anyway. Um, so you might as well focus on what's real. You know what I mean? Um, I, I just have a lot of regret. If I, if I could go back, like I would care so much less about that kind of stuff. It, like, um, not just, I'm not talking about social life in general. I'm just saying there's so much noise in your life that people worry about. People worry about, oh, all this uh, stuff on social media and stuff like that. I mean, I definitely believe if it's on the internet, it's not real. You know, that's why my YouTube channel, it's not really real. It's just like a figment of my imagination that I do for some reason. And then somehow I, I get ad revenue occasionally or something. I don't know where that comes. It just comes out of the sky. Um, that's how I, I think about it. Um, but anyway, so that's generally how I think. And again, you could apply this in different domains, as I said. Uh, when I ch when one of the reasons that I use free software in Linux and stuff like that is that when it comes down to it It's it's a great investment to learn how to use Linux and stuff like that because it makes you so much more independent um, Instead of having to rely on how user interfaces change all the time stuff like that uh, It's great to be able to do your own thing. You know what? I mean, uh, it's just great be to be able to be a little more self-reliant and even though it takes some time investment all of this stuff does if you're investing in, the, if you're you know investing your time in the system again, I hate using that word, but there's no alternative that I can immediately think of. But if you're investing your time in the system or something like that, um, that good that's that's system internal. It's not going to matter outside of that. But once you're investing your your time in yourself, you're never going to lose that. You know, that's one of the mindsets. Actually, when I was a kid, people ask me like, um, you know what. Why, why did you first start learning like languages or something like that? You know, I learned Latin when I was, I don't know, 15, 16, something like that. And the reason I did is because, you know, my mindset back then is um, I could make a lot of money and that would be good. I'm not, I, I will never knock someone who makes money. Money making is always a good thing. Um, but, uh, you know, you can lose money, but there are some things you're really never going to lose. Like if you really learn something that's useful... Um, and that has been like learning Latin was a fantastic investment. It, it doesn't sound like a fantastic investment, but it was. Um, that's one of those things. It makes you more independent and it makes you more personally competent. You don't have to rely on anyone else to uh, do this. If you have skills or something like that, you, you're not going to lose those unless, you know, you know, you're a woodworker and you lose your arm or something like that. But, uh, you know, that's why you got to be careful. Uh, so anyway, that's my recommendation. Are you investing in yourself or are you investing in the system that you're going to be more and more relying on? And I think this Corona thing should be a good uh, indication. Like if your life is worse now that uh, this Corona stuff has happened, if you, are, I mean, that probably means you've been like too dependent on society around you. Um, you've been too, uh, you know, if you just have a wage cuck job, if you just, uh, you know, you rely on, you can't even cook because you always eat at restaurants or, you know, have microwavable food or something like that. You, there are just so many things you can change about your life that sound like wastes of time at the beginning. That's only because you're plugged in. That's only because, you know, li independent life is so mysterious for you. Um, but anyway, that's what I encourage you to do. I was originally going to do a video like this around a week ago, and it was more like a dabbing video, like, oh, wow, my life is so great out here. Uh, it must suck to live in a big city. But, uh, you know, even you always have room for improvement. And, uh, you know, the Lord basically humbled me a couple days ago because my water heater broke. And I had to get that repaired. And I was thinking, you know what? I, I'm not all the way there. There are always things that I, I don't know how to do. I'm still figuring out. I'm still reliant on other people. And I'm not saying you need to li like live totally alone in the woods. I'm just saying you need to move to having that ability. It's always a great thing to uh, be more independent. Uh, so, all right, that's it. See you guys next time.